Mr. Gray, glad to be back. Um, let's first get a couple of things out the way. I feel like the black version of Tom Hanks on Castaway. It's been tough with the barbers closing off. I hate it. I got no barber. And a lot of you people out there don't have a barber either. And no, I'm not cutting my own hair. I'm not cutting my own beard. I'm just going to grow it out, man. Man style until the barbers are back. Anyway. Thank you or no thank you. Coronavirus! Moving along. We're not, I'm, I'm gonna, once again, I always say I'm gonna try to make this quick, but I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, this video is really to address, um, and by now you probably know, it's to address StockX email. Um, what we're gonna go into is the reasons of why StockX has raised their prices. Now, if you don't know yet, now you know. But first, let's go with the letter that they sent out today at two o'clock. That was, uh, it's actually sent some real shockwaves through the community. People are literally cursing StockX name. Some people say they're not going to use it anymore. Some people, of course, never did use it. And they said they're going to use GOAT. Um, whatever your opinion is, it's, it's important if that's the opinion you have. Um, I guess I'll, after I, I read the letter, I'll go into, you know, the semantics and what I think about it. So here's the letter that I got from StockX today. Dear StockX customer, thank you for being a valued member of our community. Since our inception, StockX has aimed to provide customers access to the products they love at fair and transparent market prices. In the spirit of that transparency, we are writing to inform you of an upcoming change to our marketplace pricing. Beginning on April 22, 2020, buyers on StockX will now will see a new 3% processing fee Added, added to the purchase price of an item. Any bids placed prior to April 22nd will, will not be subject to the new fee. Any updates existing bids made after April 22nd will be subject to the new fee. Uh, I'm going to add, add in there. That means just go ahead and make a bunch of bids now. Make a buttload of them. Just put the price low. Even if you, even if you don't think you're going to buy it at the price it's at, I don't care. Put it at $10. Bid on everything now. Just throw that in. Just didn't say that. Anyway, uh, da, 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 da. for more detailed information on this change, please feel free to visit our FAQ section. As our marketplace continues to grow, so have our investments in the platform, customer service, and our verification process. This fee increase will allow us to continue these investments and provide the best possible service to our millions of customers in 197 countries and territories around the world. StockX customers are, are the heart and soul of our custom, of our company. That's right there. I felt that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and we thank you for your continued support. Sincerely, StockX support so before we jump into the reasons of why they raise the prices let's go into uh other things that have inflated of course over time everything inflates that's just how the world is i mean years ago you could have probably bought a car for a thousand dollars in 19 in, in the early 1900s now you, you're lucky if you get off the lot lot with a car less than ten thousand but let's get some specifics okay so in 1985, the Jordan 1 was $65. Today, if you want a Jordan 1, you will pay $170. That's a 35 year gap in that price range there. Um, in 1965, if you bought a Heinz ketchup, uh, the glass bottle, the glass bottle of Heinz ketchup, you, in 1965, you paid 22 cents. Today, you will pay somewhere between two and four dollars, or maybe a little bit higher, depending on the size of the bottle. In 1965, a, a six-pack of beer was 99 cents. I hate beer. 
I know a lot of people do and I probably just cursed you out and your mama. I apologize. This beer was always nasty to me. Anyway, moving along. 99 cents. Today, beer can cost anywhere between $5 to $15. You know, there's craft beer, so they cost up and up and up. Um, that is that also with the um, Heinz Ketchup bottle since it was 1965 is a 55-year gap. So now, let's talk about something a little closer to our time. So StockX uh, market started around 2015, if I, my research is correct. And this is 2020, that's a five-year gap. Um, and their prices are to infinity and beyond. Yes, guys, says StockX, you're killing it. These processing fees are killing it. So I, and I think it was about February, and you know, you guys had to add the tax. And I understand the tax isn't you guys. If the government says, or government says, states say, you have to add this tax for this state, then you have to. I understand that's not on you. You're just legally following the laws, the, the IRS laws. And the IRS is the IRS. They will come for you if you don't do what they tell you to do. But I remember when I bought the 1985 um, Jordan 1s, um, uh, wait, in February, early, maybe, yeah, I think it was February. God, time's going fast. Um, and I was looking at the price, and I, like I saw it at this price, but then when I, you know, you know, before I got ready to pay, the price went up like, I think it was like, it was $80 higher than what I was gonna, you know, than the original price that I was gonna pay. And, and I'm used to the processing fee and such, but it, it went up so, so much higher than what I was used to with the tax that I ain't gonna lie, it hurt my feelings. It don't take a lot to hurt my feelings when it hits my pocket. But anyway, um, with this new percentage added, it's just like price on top of price on top of price. And I, and I think the worst, the the worst part about this more so is the timing stock X it, it's I understand it has to happen eventually but at a time that everybody's kind of suffering the country or countries are suffering you know people aren't able to go to work like they used to people are losing jobs and you guys are like you know what now's a good time to snatch the pockets off the back of the sneaker off the back of the jeans no it's not you could have waited till the pandemic was over dog we, we, come on, we, we couldn't even wait for the curve to kind of, kind of like flatten out. I know, but, you know, or come down like the dip of the pandemic getting better. You just had to hit us while we was down. StockX, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I've showed a lot of love to you. I, I still love y'all a little bit because I understand, I understand business. Doesn't mean I like the fact that I have to pay more. And, um, as I said, if you see like this comments everywhere people have a lot of expletives right now for StockX. i may throw a couple of those up over here um but yeah it, the love is not 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 it's not very loving right now for you guys but let's think about also but let's think about you know there's pros and cons i, I jumped into all the cons or what i didn't like about this of course but let's think about the pros and and they kind of stated this in here without going into detail because you know if you're it doesn't matter. It didn't matter what they said. They they could have said, "Merry Christmas." We're charging you more, more three three percent more. Hey, here's a free sneaker. Now for the future, we're gonna charge you three percent more. It wouldn't matter what they said. The fact is, they're charging more. Everybody would have been pissed regardless. But if you're a business person, and I happen to be one, um, you do kind of understand it. If you think about it, when I used to ship my sneakers off, once again, I'm in North Carolina. When I used to, if I would sell a sneaker, I would ship it off, and it would go to Detroit. Then one day, I noticed my sneaker would go to Atlanta instead, which was a lot quicker, which means I got paid a lot quicker, which was beautiful because then I could take that money and buy a sneaker, another sneaker I wanted with the money I made a lot quicker versus having to wait longer for it to go to Detroit. So I know that is not the only hub they added, but think about this. If today, let's, let's break this down in simple numbers. Let's just say I have five employees. And it cost me $50 to have those employees. If tomorrow I have 10 employees, now it's going to be $100 to have those employees. I know the numbers will be way higher. I'm just trying to keep it simple. Um, the fact is, the more, the more they add, the more the price is going to, the more anything's going to go up because that's the cost of business. So um, 
it sucks, but you know, even thinking about you, I know you guys, especially you guys in New York. I mean, I don't live close enough to anywhere special enough to have a drop zone. You guys in New York have a drop zone. Major cities have drop zones. You know, um, StockX didn't always have drop zones, but now they do. And so for those, you know, that 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 means more people. More people have to be in that area to pick up those sneakers. More people have to be in that area to verify those sneakers are the correct sneakers and send those sneakers out. So I understand as a business, as a whole, that over time prices go up. But I guess, once again, not only the timing StockX was horrible, but then, you know, I guess the, the time frame. You guys have been alive for about five years now rough give or take roughly um that's some that's to me in my personal opinion opinion that's a large amount of inflation in a very small amount of time i mean how, how can i quantify it i'm just trying to say if if i went outside today and the gas prices was three percent higher than they were yesterday you know I, okay i'm gonna still fill my tank because i have to get down the road but i'm, I'm gonna really take it it's gonna be horrible i mean Going up, you know, one cent the next day versus three percent. Let's do our. Let's do some math here. You know, okay. Let's not do some math. I don't. I don't have time for that. I didn't do very good in math in school. I was good at IT and technology. That was my thing. Not computer science, where they had to do all that programming. Forget you guys. You guys probably make about ten percent, twenty percent more than I do. Anyway, moving along. StockX, just to, I mean, once again, I don't really want to ramble because I can do that. Timing, one, was bad. You dropped uh, a, you dropped this on us in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, dang, why? And, and two, it's just, I guess it's so, it's so soon, it's so recent. On Right on the back of, you know, us now having to pay taxes on each shoe, which I know sounds crazy because we pay taxes on everything else. But I'm just saying, we enjoyed not paying taxes for so long that when it came, it was a shock. So now when you have this up, this this higher percentage in processing fee, it's another shock. And it's just so much back to back. Um, hopefully the processing will make the, the higher processing fee for you guys will make up for the fact that some people are probably not going to purchase from you guys. And I'm not saying me. Um, if I see something I really want, I, I truth is I'm more than likely going to bite the bullet because if I need it, I need it. This is just what it is. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble much longer. I hope some of these points have made sense to you. If not, Feel free to ask me any extra questions on my opinion on this. Plus, once again, I speak from a business perspective and business is business, whether we like it or not. You know, um, we can argue, you know, of course, that Jordans were 160 last year and they're 170 this year. We can argue and our arguments will go in the air and flow. Either you stop buying what you don't want to pay for anymore. You know, if you don't want to pay that, 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 that luxury tax that's added to it, stop buying it. But if you still want it, like most of us, we're still buying Jordans this year. Anyway, it sucks, but it is what it is. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I um, just want to say stay safe. Um, stay safe at home if you are at home. If you are out, just be careful, guys. Um, cover up if you can. Cover those. Keep those face masks on. Um, as always, I'm going to say subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I apologize, I haven't dropped anything in a while, but Nike's been pushing back all their um, release dates, so I haven't been able to grab anything like I normally do in advance. So anyway, um, thanks for tuning in, and Mr. Gray out.